on now. Come closer. Less talking if you don't mind. I got a real treat for you today. A great lesson. Welcome to Hogwarts, a school where you'll write a hippogriff in class. Teachers might be werewolves, and textbooks have a taste for fingers. Today, we're diving into Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, a cinematic gem that reshaped the UK's film industry. Buckle up your broomsticks as we're about to fly through a world of magic, mischief and maduration. In his third year at Hogwarts, Harry isn't just battling dark creatures like the mentors. He's also navigating the turbulent waters of adolescence. You know, like turning your own into a giant balloon when you're angry, not your usual family blow up. That's not just a burst of dark comedy, it's a poignant symbol of Harry's escalating frustrations and the struggle for control in a world that feels anything but controllable. Harry's journey is also one of self-discovery. As he confronts his past, he unearths layers of his own identity. Best. Sirius Black was and remains to this day. Harry Potter's godfather. He wrestles with his role in the larger narrative of the wizarding world. It's about defining oneself not just by the circumstances, but by choices. I'm gonna kill him. Time is another important theme on the movie. Choosing to use the Whomping Willow as more than just a seasonal clock is a reminder that time waits for no wizard, no matter how many time turners you might have. I'm scared, Professor. Well, I'd consider you a fool if you weren't. At the very heart of Prisoner of Azkaban lies the theme of fear, embodied by the Dementors. Are amongst the foulest creatures to walk this earth. They feed on every good feeling, every happy memory, until a person is left with absolutely nothing but his worst experiences. You are not weak, Harry. But it's not just the supernatural that unnerves. The fear of the unknown, of the misunderstood, simmers through Harry's quest as he confronts myths and whispers about Sirius Black. But you look so like your father. He's a murderer. And kill me. The film asks us what is more terrifying, the monsters we know or the truths we don't. Why would I go looking for someone who wants to kill me? Director Alfonso Guaron brings a fresh lens to our beloved wizarding world. Intriguing, isn't it? His dynamic camera work, sweeping shots that sometimes leave us a bit dizzy draws us deeper into the magical chaos that is Harry's life. These aren't just pretty pictures, they're windows into Harry's soul. Production designer Stuart Craig deserves a special mention here. Each set and prop is a standalone masterpiece. Michael Ceresin's cinematography and John Williams' wonderful soundtrack perfectly complement the film. New additions to the cast, including Michael Gambon as Professor Dumbledore. For in dreams we enter a world that's entirely our own. David Thulis as Lupin. Emma Thompson as Professor Trelawney. You have Grim. and Gary Oldman as Sirius Black. Are you going to kill me, Harry? They all shine as their characters, meddling perfectly with old favorites. Mm. Nick Dadman's creatures feel alive. The BFX, the sound design. In technical terms, everything on the movie is brilliant, every frame. the crown of British filmmakers at their finest. In the grand tapestry of the Harry Potter saga, 
Prisoner of Azkaban stands out not just for its darker tones, but for how it melts this with the innocence of Harry's earlier world. It creates a rich, complex narrative that it is as thought-provoking as it is entertaining. Quaron uses every tool in his directorial kit to enhance the narrative, from chilling soundscapes to meticulous framing that makes you feel every chill and thrill. Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban isn't just a story about wizards, werewolves and magical creatures. It's a film about facing fears, embracing change and the bittersweet trials of growing up. As we wrap up, think about how this film not only entertains, but also teaches us a little about courage, friendship, and finding light in the darkest places. But you know, happiness can be found even in the darkest of times, if one only remembers to turn on the light. It's a movie that drinks from a brilliant novel to create a standalone cinematic masterpiece.